Hey everyone, my name is Jim and I'm a youth librarian with the Fayetteville Public Library and thanks so much for watching this video. This is Teens Try It, part of our 2020 summer reading series of Imagine Your Story. In this series, we'll present teens with different crafts, experiments, and experiences that we would love for you to try. And today's is part craft, part experiment, and it can get a little bit messy. With Independence Day just around the corner, we're bringing back splatter art. Maybe you were a part of our splatter art program last year out on the construction site. Using miniature pressurized paint explosions, we're going to launch some spatter to create our own fireworks displays. For this project, you'll need the following supplies. A sheet of watercolor paper. One or two colors of acrylic paint. A film canister. A pack of Alka-Seltzer tablets and some water. We've got watercolor paper, film canisters, and Alka-Seltzer tablets at the library. So anyone in grades 5th through 12th can swing by the children's desk of the library if you're in need of these supplies. This craft can get messy, so it's best to take it outside. Make sure you secure your watercolor paper down so it doesn't blow away. Step one is to add paint to your film canister. I mentioned before that this craft is also a bit of an experiment. The amount of material you use can lead to varying results. I'm going to show you three different paint splatters that I made, and I'll be sure to point out which gave me the best results. With about a half inch of paint in my film canister, it's time for step two, adding the Alka-Seltzer tablet to the canister and paint. Remember, you can use different amounts of paint and tablet. For this first run, I'm adding about a quarter of a tablet. Lastly, you're going to add your water to the canister, paint, and tablet. As soon as you do add it, quickly put the cap on the canister, place the canister cap down on the watercolor paper, and step back. Kaboom! My first trial was surprisingly good. The canister launched in the air and I got a great explosion. The main problem was my splatter was super runny. I think I added too much water and not enough tablet, so I'm going to go back and edit the variables in round two. A different color paint, a bit more tablet, and just a little bit of water. Let's see if this changes things. Womp womp. Pretty much no explosion for attempt number two. I think I added way too much paint, so the canister was too heavy to launch. I still think I can do better, so I'm going to edit my variables one more time for a third attempt. This time I'm adding a whole Alka-Seltzer tablet. And just a little bit of water. Get that cap on and flip it upside down. Boom! A perfect explosion. I found the best ratio to be a lot of tablet and just a little bit of water. But you may find your best results are different than mine. Try it. Now don't forget, you'll want to give your artwork plenty of time to dry. But there you have it, a splatter art fireworks display just in time for the 4th of July. We'd love to see your artwork and hope you'll share your splatter art in the comments of these videos. Or you can post it on social media and tag us with hashtag FPL Imagine Your Story. Hey, if you made it this far in the video, don't forget, there's a social media badge on Read Squared that you can unlock for points for summer reading. Now's the perfect time. Thanks so much for watching this Teens Try It video. For more videos in this series and for all of our other summer programs and content, follow us on our social media platforms or visit us online at faylib.org slash src. I hope you have a great day. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye.